Good afternoon everyone. I will be showing you how to super glue a rhizome plant like this Anubius to a rock. First of all you need to get your well your plant out of the pot. Now normally you can just slide these out of the pots but as you can see the roots have grown through and I don't want to damage them too much. So we quickly take the label out and we're going to have to cut it out of the pot. Now I did get my scissors out ready so we will quickly cut it out of the pot, try not to cut the plant or the roots, which is a lot easier said than done. So yeah, that's that one done. Got right there. Get that one out. Now I believe I should be able to bend them down. Yep. And then slide it out. See, work quite well. Now we have to get the rock wall off of the plant. Now this can be easily done, but probably not by me. So, oh, well, there we are. We actually have two plants. I bought a pot. I didn't expect it to have two, but oh well. Double for the, well, just extra plants. So we will pull the rock wall off. It's come off rather easy. Try not to damage the roots. I hate doing this. Now I've seen people being able to get this off very easily with things like chopsticks and forks. So I'm going to quickly grab a fork, a fork and see if we can tease this out. Okay, when I see other people do it, they make it look a lot easy. A lot easier. Okay, that's come off. So we've still got a load in there. I don't want any of this getting loose in the aquarium. So we will come back after I've cleared all of this off the plant. By rinsing it under the tap, I have been able to get off 99% of the rock wall. And now we're going to dab it dry. That's why I've got this handy towel. So dab it nice and dry because it'd be easier to stick to the rock or castle or whatever you're gluing it to, rocks, wood, anything inside the aquarium, just don't glue it to the fish. Because, you know, it won't work very well. So we'll dab that nicely. And I don't know where I'm going to be putting this one for now, but we will deal with this one. Parts of the plant to know, um, while gluing it, because I will be mentioning them, are the roots, which are these nice little dangly bits here, which are obviously roots. But if you don't know, the rhizome, is this section here, which the roots and the leaves come now off of. The Anubius has dried off as best as we can. We're going to be gluing it to the rock. I've chosen my rock. I've also chosen where I would like it to be glued, which I would like it to be glued like that, so that in the aquarium it can be viewed from this angle, okay? And this little part I've chosen to glue it to has a lot of surface area for the roots to stick to with the super glue. Now, when you are gluing a rhizome plant like this to rocks, the most uh, rocks and other things, you know, wood, castles, anything in the aquarium, the most important thing is to get the right type of super glue. Now, the super glue I use is Gorilla, Gorilla Super Glue Gel. Now, gel is very important because it allows you to create a bead of the glue and work the plant roots into it to latch it onto the rock. If you use regular super glue, you end up gluing yourself, the plant, the rock, and everything together because it just goes absolutely everywhere. So super glue gel is the best thing to use. Now, it doesn't matter which brand of super glue gel you use, as long as it contains the most important ingredient, which I will try and pronounce, but I will pull it across the screen because I cannot pronounce it. It's Cyroacrylite, Cyroacrylite, which I believe is 
in the branded super glue and in nearly every super glue I've actually looked up on Amazon. But I use Gorilla Glue because it's easier to come by. So enough about the glue, let's open it up and get glue into the rock. I prefer to use the smaller bottles because I find that I waste less when I use the smaller bottles. We take our rock and we want gravity to work with us, so we'll put it at the right angle like that. And we will give the rock a nice covering of the glue, if you can see that. A nice generous covering of the gel. And what we're aiming to do is to get as much of the roots into this as possible and a little bit of the rhizome, but not all of the rhizome, because if you cover all the rhizome, the plant will die. So we get the plant like that and just moosh it into the glue. Now you can use the lid to hold it down if you don't want yourself to get glued to it. So we use the lid like that. Hold for about 20 to 25 seconds. So, so like that. Push it nice and in place because the fish are going to tug on it when it's in the aquarium. Okay, so turn it upside down, yep, yeah, that's pretty well stuck like that. I'm going to put some more glue around the back here to hold a bit of the rhizome in place. Like that. And since there's not much of the glue there, I won't be needing I think, well, sticking that into place. Okay, getting a little bit tacky and sticking to myself actually. Now, as we've glued this to the rock, as the plant grows, the roots will actually start to wrap around the rock itself and anchor itself in place. Okay, so I believe that is now stuck on. Yep, yeah, we'll turn it upside down. Okay. That is the angle it will be at in the aquarium. So we have successfully stuck this Anubius to this rock. Now it doesn't look very pretty from this angle, but luckily it will be like this in the aquarium. So let's go put it into the aquarium. So what we're going to do is take the plant and the rock and slowly lure it into the aquarium. Okay, pull it over there like that. completely soaked because I didn't roll up my sleeve. Thank you very much for watching on how we glued this Anubius, which is a rhizome plant, to this rock. If this video helped you out, please leave a like, comment or subscribe. It really helps the channel. Thank you again.